Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately for the upcoming updates. In this video, I will be solving the, the model question paper uh, 1 for the subject title uh, Mathematics 2 for Computer Science Engineering with the subject code BMATS201. So, I will be solving the uh, questions of uh, module 2. I will be solving all the questions, all the uh, sub questions here except uh, question number 4c since it is a mathematical tool uh, i am going to write a program so i will be discussing this uh, later on so you can wait for the updates now coming to the solution part so question number 3a in question number 3a find uh, the del phi find del phi if phi is equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z at the given point called 1 minus 1 2 so what we need to find here we need to find grad phi just instead of finding gradient here, instead of saying that gradient they have asked del phi you need to find grad phi write down the given function phi first write down the given function phi so then find out grad phi grad phi is given by the formula grad phi or del phi is given by the formula del phi by del x i plus del phi by del y j plus del phi by del z k. Okay, so just differentiate phi whatever the given function phi differentiate that partially with respect to x treating y and z as constant. That is the meaning. So we are going with partial derivative of phi with respect to x treating y and z as constant. So, what is the partial derivative of phi with respect to x and uh, with respect to x treating y and z as constant? So, just differentiate the term containing x wherever you find x, differentiate that term. Derivative of x cube is x square. Here, derivative of y cube is 0 since it is a constant term. These two are constant. So, we observe x here, differentiate that containing constant term as 3yz. So, derivative of x is what? 1. So, that's why I have written minus 3yz i plus similarly find out partial derivative of phi with respect to y. So, now what you need to do differentiate phi partially with respect to y treating x and z as constant. So, wherever you find out y differentiate that term. So, derivative of y cube is what 3y square that is what I have written. I find out y term here. So, differentiate that y along with y we have 3xz. So, keep that as constant. Derivative of y is 1. So, therefore, it is minus 3xzj as we have j component. So, plus uh, derivative of phi partially with respect to z treating x and y as constant. So, what we are going to do? Find out the term containing z alone. So, z cube derivative is 3z square minus we have z here so therefore derivative of 3xyz is 3xy along minus sign we are going to get minus 3xy so this is what grad phi grad phi is always a vector quantity my dear students you need to know that grad phi is always vector quantity so it should be always having ijk so now afterwards substitute the values they have asked to find at the given points so put x i uh, x value as 1 y value as minus 1 z value as 2 that is what i have done just i went with the substitution of those three points and i uh, simplified and i got del phi at 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 as 9 i minus 3 j plus 15 k this is the solution for question number 3a and and my dear students, this module is very easy to score. You can mini, you can score minimum of 14 marks if you study very well. Okay. And also, I have uh, released a previous module video. You can go through that uh, video. So, you can wait for upcoming uh, module wise videos also. Moving on to question number 3b. So, if vector f is equal to del of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz find divergence of f and curl f so consider the given problem so what they have given given a vector function given a vector function saying that f 
find out you need to find grad phi here we need to find grad phi del of phi i will name this as phi that's why i have named that as phi function here phi find out grad phi grad phi is what vector i told you right so i will find out del phi i will get vector so from that it is a vector f so just now i have solved this above so the same thing we have done so we have got vector f here then from that vector f i am going to find out divergence of vector f and curl of vector f so for that vector f is denoted by f1 i i am denoting this whole term as f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k from that i will find out divergence of vector f so divergence of vector f is given by the formula del f1 by del x plus del f2 by del y plus del f3 by del z it is very simple differentiate f1 partially with respect to x that's all so wherever you find out x differentiate with respect to x treating the remaining variables as constant that's all so i find out 3x square here derivative of 3x square 3 into derivative of x square is 2x so therefore 3 into 2 is 6x that is what i have written minus derivative of minus uh, constant is 0 so similarly derivative of 3y square with respect to y since i need to find out f2 with respect to y so 3y square derivative is 6y similarly derivative of 3z square is 6z that's all i think you got it why i am not uh, differentiating these terms means it is a constant term 3xz with respect to y is constant 3xy uh, with respect to z is also constant this is what divergence of vector f now going to curl f now this is the definition of curl f determinant of i j k the second row will be filled with the del operator called del by del x del by del y del by del z then the third uh, row will be uh, inserted with vector f that is f1 f2 f3 so then we will expand this determinant the expansion of that determinant is del f3 by del y minus del f2 by del z i just i have expanding this determinant plus del f3 by del x minus del f1 by del z j plus del f2 by del x minus del f1 by del y k so expanding this now so now i need to just differentiate f3 whatever i have written here this is what f1 f2 f3 i have highlighted here f1 f2 f3 so differentiate each f1 f2 f3 with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z all the three should be differentiated with respect to all the three variables so whatever i am going to get i will be writing that derivative of f3 with respect to y let us see once f3 with respect to y i need to do so here there is no term called y here we have the term called y so 3x is constant minus 3x is constant derivative of y with respect to y is what s yes, exactly that is 1 so 1 the derivative of y with respect to y is 1 So you left out with minus 3x. That is what I have written. Minus 3x. Similarly, derivative of f2 with respect to z. Wherever we have z, differentiate that term. Here they don't have z term. Here we have z term. So here constant term is minus 3x. Retain as it is. Differentiate uh, uh, differentiate z with respect to z. What we are going to get? Z with respect to z is 1. So we are left out with minus 3x. So therefore, it is minus of minus plus. 3x it will be so minus 3x plus 3x is what zero i we got similarly we are going to differentiate f3 with respect to x i got minus 3y f1 with respect to z we got uh, uh, minus 3y minus of minus it will be becoming uh, plus 3y so so on if we continue like this we are going to get zero i plus zero j plus zero k which will be equal to zero vector. curl of the given vector f is zero vector is very simple see so from these two only you can score uh, minimum 13 marks so moving on to question number 3 c express the vector a equal to z i minus 2 x j plus y k in cylindrical coordinates they are asking to express the given vector in terms of cylindrical coordinates so whatever the given vector i need to express this in terms of cylindrical coordinate that's all so for that reason i will consider 
the cylindrical coordinate as like this vector a is equal to a1 e rho cap plus a2 e e phi cap plus e a3 e z cap so i will name that as equation 1 this is what the cylindrical coordinate system i in terms of cylindrical coordinate system i am expressing a vector a vector a is denoted as what a1 e rho plus a2 e phi plus a a3 e z okay where a1 a2 a3 are to be determined we need to find that let us find out that values so to find that i am going to define a1 a2 a3 as dot product of two vectors that is i'll define a1 a1 is defined as vector a dot e rho cap uh, a2 is defined as vector a dot e phi cap uh, a3 is defined as vector a dot e z cap so I'll name that as equation 2 in the cylindrical system we can express x y z as like this so it is a standard form so you can uh, denote a rho phi z in any manner uh, the variable can be changed there but i have taken in terms of rho phi z so x equal to rho cos phi y equal to rho sin phi z is z itself so i will substitute these uh, x y z in vector a so therefore vector a will be equal to z i minus vector a will be here i am substituting in the given problem vector a will be equal to z minus 2 rho cos phi like that minus 2 rho cos phi j plus rho sin phi k I will name that as vector 3. Since it is given, it is given, given in the question, just I have substituted x, y, z values. Also, we have E rho cap can be expressed as 1 over h1 times of 1 over h1 times of del vector r divided by del rho. I am going to differentiate vector r partially with respect to rho. So, similarly, E phi cap will be the 1 over h2 times of del vector r divided by del phi differentiate vector r partially with respect to phi similarly e z cap will be 1 over h3 times of e rho vector divided by sorry del rho vector divided by del z so now where for the cylindrical coordinates the standard values of h are so h1 equal to 1 h2 equal to rho h3 equal to 1 these are all standard so, uh, as we know, vector r is defined as what? Vector r is always defined as standard form that is xi plus yj plus zk. So, as it is a position vector, we will define vector r as uh, xi plus yj plus zk. So, just as you have defined, as we have already defined what is xyz, just I have substituted those values, I got vector r. So, from this vector r, I will find out e rho cap, e, e phi cap, e z cap. So, differentiate vector r with respect to phi now. So, vector r with respect to phi, I will uh, differentiate that. Therefore, e rho phi will be what? 1 over h1. h1 value is what? 1. 1 by 1 is what? 1 itself. 1 by 1 is 1 itself. I am finding e rho cap. 1 by 1 is 1 itself. Just differentiate vector r with respect to rho. So, derivative of rho, wherever I have rho, I need to differentiate only that term. So, derivative of rho is 1, you are left out with constant term cos phi i, I have written as it is, plus uh, derivative of rho is what? 1, uh, we are left out with sin phi j, constant term as it is. So, similarly, derivative of uh, uh, rho, I need to find out. So, but here there is no term called rho, so therefore, constant uh, derivative is always 0. zero. Similarly, E phi cap 1 over h2. What, what is the value of h2? Rho. So, rho 1 over rho times of uh, differentiate vector r with respect to rho now. Sorry, uh, di differentiate with respect to phi. So, what we are going to get derivative of cos phi is what? Minus sin phi. So, you are left out with the rho. So, but rho by rho get cancelled. You are left out with minus sin phi i. That is what I have written minus sin phi i plus uh, derivative of uh, sin phi with respect to phi will be cos phi uh, divided by rho is there multiplied by rho here so rho rho get cancelled you are left out with cos phi j finally we don't have rho of uh, phi function here so derivative of constant is 0 finally we will go with derivative of r with respect to z 
so here there is no z here there is no z therefore it is 0 i plus 0 j here we have z so z by z is it means the derivative of z with respect to z is 1 so h3 value is 1 so therefore we are left with this is what e z cap so i got e rho e phi e z i got i will name that as equation 4 so i will be substituting equation 3 and equation 4 equation 3 is what uh, vector a and vector uh, e rho e phi e, e z i got so i will substitute 3 and 4 in equation 2 i will get a1 a2 a3 what is uh, uh, equ equation 2 this is a dot product i will be finding dot product of vector a and yeah, vector e rho so we shall find out uh, the dot product of these two vectors uh, vector a and uh, e rho cap so that is multiply the components of i j k that's all z into cos phi it is what z cos phi minus 2 rho minus 2 rho cos phi into sin phi is what minus 2 rho cos phi sin phi 0 into anything is 0 so therefore 0 so this is what i have written a1 in the same manner i will find out a2 i will find out a3 the dot product so after finding a1 a2 a3 i will substitute in equation 1 with along with uh, a1 a2 a3 so that will be the desired solution called uh, cylindrical coordinate system of a vector in terms of so this is what the vector a have defined so moving on to the choice part question number 4a find the directional derivative of phi that is x square y z plus 4 x z square at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 1 in the direction of the vector 2 i minus j minus 2 k okay so write down the given function scalar function phi they have given scalar function phi as x square y z plus 4 x z square then from this find out del phi del phi is what just finding the grad phi differentiate phi with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z along with the i j k component so i am doing that one so differentiate phi with respect to x wherever we have x differentiate with respect to x and the remaining terms will be treated as constant so derivative of x square is 2x the remaining values are constant so it is 2xyz plus 4 derivative of x is 1 into z square 4z square that is what del phi by del x i plus phi with respect to y so differentiate uh, the phi wherever we have y term so therefore that is x square z is constant derivative of y is 1 so there is no term called y here therefore it is 0 so you are left out with x square z differentiate phi with respect to z derivative of uh, z is 1 you are left out with x square y plus derivative of uh, z square is 2z so it is 8xz so that is what we have got del phi by del z k so then substitute the values of x y z substitute after substituting x y z i got the vector 8i minus uh, j minus 10 using this vector and also given direction 2i minus j minus 2k this is given you can go through the problem in the direction of the vector so that is why i have denoted as vector d from that i will find out unit vector n cap that is n cap is equal to vector d divided by magnitude of vector d write down the numerator as vector d given vector d divided by magnitude is given by square root of squares of components of i j k so here square root of components of the squares of i j k so 2 square plus of minus 1 square plus of minus 2 square that is what i have done so solving that i will get the denominator value as 3 so then therefore the required directional derivative uh, is given by del phi dot n cap i have find out what is del phi i will have find out what is n cap just find out dot dot product of these two so i am going to get the required value as 37 by 3 you, you know already what is dot product just multiply the components of i j k that's all 8 into 2 by 3 minus 1 into minus 1 by 3 minus 10 into minus 2 by 3.
So this is what uh, directional derivative. Moving on to the last question. Show that the spherical coordinate system is orthogonal. So write down uh, vector r. Vector r for a spherical coordinate system is uh, you know, nothing but r sin theta cos phi i plus r sin theta sin phi j plus r cos theta k. This is what spherical coordinate system. So we have written. Then we will uh, denote e r cap, e theta cap, e phi cap with the basic unit vectors. With the basic unit vectors. So this we, this is a standard vector. That's why it is called as basic unit vector. Then for a standard value for a, a spherical coordinate system given h1 equal to 1, h2 equal to 2, h3 equal to r sin theta. So then I am going to find out a e r cap. So what is e r cap according to our definition? 1 over h1 into del vector r by del r. Differentiate vector r. Differentiate this vector r. Partially with respect to R. Partially with respect to R. So you know what is uh, what is the meaning? Partial derivative. So H by uh, H1 is values 1. So 1 by 1 is 1. So differentiate a vector R partially with respect to R. Treating theta and phi as constant. So here theta and phi is constant. We are left out with R here. Derivative of R is 1. So we are left out with sin theta cos phi i plus sin theta cos phi is constant, derivative of r with respect to r is 1 plus derivative of r cos theta is uh, 1 cos theta. Okay. So similarly find out e theta cap, e theta cap is given by formula 1 over h uh, h2 del vector r by del theta which is equal to 1 over since h2 value is r. So times of del r by del theta, we are differentiating vector r with respect to theta, we are going to get this component. This is i, j, k components. So, with respect to theta, wherever you have sin uh, theta term, differentiate. Derivative of sin theta is cos theta I have written. Derivative of sin theta is cos theta I have written. Derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta I have written along with the constant. So, that will be dividing by r, we are going to get e theta cap. E theta cap. Similarly, finally find out e, uh, e phi cap. E phi cap is given by 1 over h3. Differentiate vector r with respect to phi. So, derivative of uh, sin cos phi is minus sin phi. That is why I have written minus sin phi. The derivative of uh, sin phi is cos phi I have written. There is no term called uh, phi. That is why it is uh, k component is 0. That is e phi. After finding e r, e theta, e phi, find out the dot product of those uh, three components. So, that is uh, e r dot e theta. So, you know the meaning of dot product. Just multiply the components of i, j, k. I got uh, the multi uh, dot product of uh, e, r and e theta as like this. So, in that uh, sin theta cos theta is common term. So, if I take out that common term, I left out with uh, cos square theta cos square phi plus sin square phi cos square phi plus sin square phi. What is cos square plus sin square phi? It is 1. So, 1 times of sin theta cos theta is sin theta cos theta minus sin theta cos theta sin theta cos theta minus sin theta cos theta get cancelled, you are left out with what? 0. So, similarly find out another dot product that is e theta dot e phi. So, from that we are going to get another 0. So, this is also 0. Finally, find out e phi dot e r that will also be 0. Once we came to know that these three dot products are 0, we can say that the given uh, spherical coordinate systems are orthogonal. So, this is the way of solving the problems of module 2. I hope you all understood. If you have any doubts, if you have any queries, you can put a comment. I will clear your doubts. And also, in the previous video, kindly make one correction. That is uh, under double integration, finding the area of ellipse. So, the answer is uh, there. 4, 4 get cancelled. So, you are left out with pi a b there. So, I thank you all for watching this uh, video. If those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe and press like button and also press bell button for get, to get new notification.